Hungarian folk music often correlates to dancing and marching, since they share the same rhythmic structure and spirit. Hungarian folk music is highly distinctive. Like the Hungarian language, it's a series of stressed and unstressed syllables. You can see this in the piece we will talk about today, Sweet as Sugar. The stressed and unstressed syllables in the Hungarian language are expressed through various articulations. Let's take a closer look at the movement related to each articulation. Staccato is a bouncing up motion coming from the wrist. Using the first staccato note as a springboard, gently land on the second note. The second note then slur to the note after with the staccato under legato. This simply means that the third note will be a gentle staccato. Not as much bounce as the first staccato, but a graceful release. It's a tad bit longer than staccato, but not as long as a full quarter note. Play the second and the third note with one gesture. Down, up. Here we have another two note slur with the second note as a staccato under legato. Then again. But this time the second note of the two note slur has a tenuto, which is a full valley quarter note with a slight emphasis, a little nudge on the note. Let's play measures one and two again slowly. Looking at the overall phrase structure of the piece will also help us learn the piece more efficiently. Simply put, we'll look for repetitions of notes, phrases, and sections. Measures one through four and measures five through eight are exactly the same. Measures 9 through 16 and measures 17 through 24 are also the same. Knowing what repeats will reduce the amount of time we spend on practicing the same thing. This way, we will only need to learn measures 1 through 4 and measures 9 through 16, since the rest is the same. For a full lesson of this piece and others, please click the link below and check out the piano lessons at libertyparkmusic.com.